I am not a fan of in-ear monitors. I know it's not a popular opinion, but putting headphones inside of my ears has always been very uncomfortable. I can't get a proper seal, it feels like, no matter what I do, and I simply don't like not being able to hear anything around me. Lately, I've been using the Cost KFC 75, one of the best values in audio, period. At around 17 bucks, you really cannot beat the price to performance you get with these guys. They sit right on your ears, so obviously they don't go inside. They're very comfortable, you can wear them all day, and they also sound great. I use these headphones for casual listening a lot and while I'm at work, so I really don't wanna have cables connected to my laptop or my phone all the time. I need to be able to get up, move around if I want to. So I'm gonna make these headphones today wireless, and we're gonna do it in a way that you can pretty much do for most basic headphones. Okay, so before we get started, I want to get a few things out of the way. Number one, I know that this is a ridiculous project and a ridiculous thing to do. This isn't the most practical use of money, and there are more effective ways of getting wireless headphones. I'm fully aware, but I'm really a big fan of the KSC 75 fit and sound. There's really not another headphone out there that hooks onto your ears and still sounds good. So I really want to make these wireless thing can be my go-to wireless headphones. Number two, you can definitely do this for cheaper than I'm about to do it. Uh, I went for pretty much the most expensive option, but you can do it for a lot less if you shop around for different Bluetooth headphones or adapters. The donor headphones I'm using are way more expensive than they need to be. You could probably get a pair, it's around 30 bucks. It may not have all the features that I'm about to have, but it'll get the job done and give audio into the KC75. When I decided to do this, I figured I'd do a little research first and see if anyone had done it before. Luckily, it's been done. I'm certainly not the first person to do this. Some people have even added MMCX connectors to their KSC 75, which I've actually already purchased and maybe doing in the future. But for now, we're just gonna do a regular wired setup. So there's a lot of cool options, cool things you can do to these headphones to tweak their sound and to make them more usable. The process looked pretty simple, so now it was time to just find a pair of headphones that I could use as a donor model or a Bluetooth module if there was one that made sense. I wanted to have the following features. Support for high-res formats, so Aptex HD, Aptex low-res, AAC, etc. Eight to 10 hours of battery life. A cable that wasn't super long, so I wanted them to connect, but I didn't want to have a cable hanging all over the place like the Beats X do or something like that. And lastly, multi-device pairing. That was a big one. I really wanted a set that could pair to my phone and my laptop. So if I'm sitting at my desk at work or on a plane, wherever, I can listen to two devices at, at once seamlessly. I don't have to pair, unpair, and keep going back and forth since these will not be wired. They're only gonna be wireless from now on. Finding a pair of headphones that had all of those features was actually pretty difficult. But luckily, Klipsch came out with their T5 wireless sport recently, and it happens to have everything that I was looking for. Before we go any further, if you're just looking for a set of sports headphones or headphones for casual listening that do have in-ear buds, these are pretty good. These are actually really good headphones. 10 hours of battery life, Bluetooth 5.0. The fit was good and solid, even though I don't like IEMs at all, as I mentioned before. Uh, the cable is short and comfortable. They're super light. These are actually great headphones. Uh, unfortunately, I had to cut them up. Now this project will require soldering. You have to desolder the earbuds from whatever your donor set is and then solder the wireless adapter onto the KSC 75. So not a huge demanding task. I am horrible at soldering. I haven't done it in years and I was able to do it with pretty much no issue. So now let's take a look at the actual build process, deconstructing the Klipsch headphones and actually soldering up the KSC 75. All right, so the goal today really is to just simply combine these two headphones. We have a nice Klipsch headphone here. Obviously this is more expensive than it needs to be at a hundred bucks. You can use a cheaper one for sure, but I wanted all the features that come with this. That's 10 hour battery life, Aptex, um, Aptex low latency, Aptex HD, all the high-end codecs, AAC, whatever you want. Also, it has a sort of slim and flexible, durable braided cable here. It's really lightweight. And again, that battery life is, is simply something that can't be understated. So I wanted that, a nice short cable, it shouldn't stick out or, or be in the way. And we have the KSC 75, one of my favorite portable headphones. I mean, these simply are amazing. The value you get for these is, is incredible. This is the Mass Drop Edition, 17 bucks, shipped, pick them up. You really can't go wrong. So let's combine these two. I want to combine the sound quality of these with the portable Bluetooth nature of these. And let's see what we get. So first off, we have to crack these open. Um, I already popped the clips off. These clips come off. 
you can actually buy poor pro uh, headsets or some other different headset attachments if you want a traditional style headphone, but that kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. Uh, these are pretty simple to disassemble. You just gotta work off the pad here. Uh, and then you have, so this is the raw, well not the raw driver, but basically the shell uh, which you get there. There are some additional mods you can do to this piece here. It's called the Kramer mod if you want to look it up to remove some of the plastic in specific spots and open up the sound a little bit. I may do that later, but for now we're just going to focus on this. And the clip here just pops off like that. These are some of the easiest headphones to mod, period. All right. So the tube part of these headphones, this actual dark matte black piece here is one piece, uh, but there is a break in between the steel front plate, I guess you'd call that, that kind of snaps them with the actual sound tube that fires into your ear. So I think I'm gonna try and get a knife and get in there and see if I can separate the two and start from there. So it looks like I can, should be able to desolder these pins here, one and two, super easy, um, and then resolder them back onto the cost. So I'm kind of using it as like a knife of sorts. Left, right. First, I have to untie these, this little knot here. Let's see if I can slide them. Like so. Let's slide these out. Come on. Beautiful. Okay, so basically, I'm essentially finished now. We have one, this is the complete boy. This is what it looks like soldered. My soldering skills are terrible, so don't judge this project based on that. Uh, but then the cable's gonna hook around here and then come out the bottom there. So that's how it's gonna go. That's what it looks like. 
pretty good, I'd say. Hopefully I did this right, and this actually works. In the end, I think this project turned out really, really well. As you can see, they look almost like they were designed like this from the factory. I think the pairing is really good between the clips band, the length, and the KC75. It really adds no weight. You can wear it traditionally or hanging around your neck like that, or you can do how you're supposed to wear it and throw it behind your neck. Either way is perfectly comfortable. The headphones stay secure and the actual control module, battery modules are very, very light, like I said earlier, so you really don't have any issues. You can see around my back, they don't hang or dangle around too much. They're pretty, pretty comfortable to wear and not in the way at all. Another added benefit is when you're not wearing them, you can simply take them down and clip them on your shirt, like so. Pretty easy. And then they're just out of the way. It's almost like a ugly necklace that you're wearing, but it does work really well and they stay out of the way until you're ready to use them again. Now, I was a little bit worried about the power output of this wireless band here and would it be able to power these. These are pretty easy to drive and luckily it's not having any issues. I am noticing that I do have to turn the volume up a bit. So a little bit past 50 to around 60% or 70% when maybe on some other wireless headphones I have, any other Bluetooth models, it might be around 50% or 45%. So these weren't really designed to power these headphones, but they do it without any problems. I haven't noticed any real, real loss in audio quality outside of the typical jump from wired to wireless. So overall, I'm really, really, really happy with these. This was a great project to do. It was fun, it was easy, it was fast. And now I have a unique set of headphones that I can use every day. Battery life is pretty good. So I'm still getting around that eight to nine hour range. I can go a full work day, listening to these podcast music, what have you, all day, and I don't have to recharge. So that was big. Wireless pairing for dual devices works perfectly. I can jump between my work laptop and my phone when I need to. Everything really worked out for the best, which is not something that typically happens when you're hacking up headphones and soldering on things that should not be soldered. So if you wanna try this on your own pair, I'll link to everything in the video below, including the soldering kit. Or if you just wanna pick up some KSC 75s or the T5 Sport, I'll link to those as well. If you wanna learn a little bit more, see some additional pictures and stuff for the project, I will also link to the article. So as always, thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. I'm Jay, this is Tech Everything. I'll see you next time.